Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Strong in the 2v2, but they are very susceptible to getting jumped on by Zach. And Zach also, one of his key weaknesses is when you are playing into an aggressive jungler that can mess up your jungle. That's not gonna be the case. You're playing into Maokai. Feeling great. Zach, I might get the cancel here. Would be huge. Oh, he is. Uh, Zaytab gonna have to get out of there. He does follow him with that Conquering Sands. And there it is. Zach again grab first. Blood solo kill. Zaytab. Peanuts level 7 now, so is going to become more and more of a menace to Satab. Yeah, Empress Divide comes in. He's caught out of the air once again! And those arms, they stretch real far, and the Sand Soldiers are enough to take it down. That it's is early on. And we know that Zekka is very capable. They're carrying pretty hard on this champion. Flash out from Teddy. Stretch Armstrong going to go wide, but the Chains of Corruption do not. They hold down Peanut. He's trying to escape from this one. He actually decides to go in. Let's bounce, says Peanut. Is now Teddy's in trouble. Dawning Shadow, though, might be enough. Viper immediately gets bailed out. And now Pleta over the wall. He will fall down, but he does manage to get one back. Sponge may not be so lucky. However, he is going to create that distance. Satab just trying to protect his tree, the environmentalist that is the Tristana. But the sacrifice is there, and he's pulled back with these stretchy arms of Pina. The world, Humble Life Esports gonna even out the score there on that front. And Doran, keeping his eyes on the Kevins. Swap your bot side towards top, that's what you'd want, but due to the dive not working out, not gonna be the case. They're gonna lose first turret lot as well. So he is gonna be so hard to kill. Seti has to flash. Another flash, but this time the stretch Armstrong comes out. That's a big old flash forward from Delight. As he had the Fates call, he's going to make sure that Teddy is going to fall down. And now, Peanut can take himself a Herald Ride if he would like to, stretching himself up. Great Arcane Smash from Sponge to try and deny, but he's going to get pulled back. Has to flash to get himself out of there. As Shelly gets a headache, but she deals with this turret as well. And now Peanut, he'll take the reins and send her towards this inner at the same time. It's just going from bad to worse, worse here for DRX as they lose their inner turret in the mid lane. 5,000. If he is in mid lane uh, and he's uh, even remotely far up without any further assistance, just isn't that much that you can do. And walk up to the wave. And you can see just the full, the full control that is currently available for Humble Life, meaning that they can just pick up these side lane turrets and not have to be. He is a blob. That is very true. Uh, he is now on top of Teddy once again. Teddy didn't have uh, the flash available and uh, he's almost just getting solo. He is. Uh, as Viper will just last hit the Varus. Sponge gonna have to blast cone his way out, and Peanut just once again, he's got Stretching strike onto the Tristana, but they'll take an inhibitor turret. That's a decent consolation prize if ever I have seen one. The inhibitor gonna go down with it. And Hummel Life just not uh, letting their foot off. Peanut just... When you have a good Zag angle, and you actually take it, to me, yeah. that's this the Shrift's credit. Oh, Nature's Grasp oh, trying to come forward. Let's see whether they can do anything to Peanut here as Sponge in a lot of trouble. Pletter is just going to explode though on the bottom side of the fight as Doran does find him. Rascal as well on this Gwen looking. This is uh, not feeling too good for Sponge and Joyers, although he does. I, I mean, yeah, it, the, the scoreline looks kind of fine, but everything is kind of on fire. I, when you're a tree, you don't really like that. No, and, and obviously... Like you're talking about, but this stretching strike might increase it. Although it doesn't, as Peanut just lets it time out. Just waiting for the opportune moment. Here we go again. Jonah Strong, thanks for the zoom. Great Arcane Smash, but a stretch Armstrong once again onto Satab as they do manage to land the ulti onto Sponge and they'll just take that. The flat. Keeping these side lane inhibitor turrets alive is so difficult. There it is, stretching strike over just for the zoning here from Peanut. Does pull Sponge in, but Rascal, he's a dangerous one. Peanut does have the passive available as OK Doran diving forward. He finds Pleta somehow as another one comes in. The Empress Divide is massive as well. And Armor Life Esports, they want to go home early. It's a double for Zekka as he takes down his opposite number yet again. And another inhibitor will fall. Looks like uh, Nexus turrets aren't on the menu just yet, but I think we're getting pretty close to that course as Teddy has to flash one more time. Peanut just doesn't care. He is about, impressive. Yeah, what his uh, health bar looks like. Because what you said, he can just uh, come back up again. The Bloblets can come on forward as, yep, down to 100 health. Who cares? Teddy's on his fountain, can't do anything about, about it. And there goes the Nexus. Game two for Humble Life Esports, a 2-0 start to the season. Game number one was just a warm-up, Atlas, as a particular...